So the next problem is to find out uh, first four row moments and central moments of uh, a random variable x and uh, uh, they have given uh, its pdf also that is f of x is equal to um, p raised to x 1 minus p raised to 1 minus x and uh, there is one more condition that is when x is equal to 0 and 1. So in this case, x is uh, it's clear that x is a discrete random variable. Okay, so keep that in mind, and uh, we will have to find out the first four row moments and the uh, first four central moments also. So now let's uh, take the uh, case of row moments. Okay, now when it comes to row moment, uh, I hope you all remember how you will represent the first row moment. So the first row moment is nothing but mu one dash is equal to what is it? Expectation of x. So expectation of x, I hope you all know uh, the formula for expectation of x. That is uh, x into um, p raised to x. In this case, we are um, uh, just substituting it as p raised to x into 1 minus p, the whole raised to 1 minus x. So which is equal to when x takes a value 0, this term will become 0. So 0 plus when x takes a value 1, this term will become 1 into p into 1 minus p the whole raised to 1 minus x uh, instead of uh, x you can put it as 1 so this term 1 minus p the whole raised to 0 this term will become 1 which is equal to 0 plus p is equal to p so here your mu 1 dash that is the first row moment is uh, p now let's have a look at what is the second row moment it is given by mu 2 dash is equal to expectation of x uh, square so that is equal to uh, when you expand the term when uh, x is equal to 0 1 and uh, x square uh, and you can write p of uh, p raised to x 1 minus p the raised to 1 minus x so when again x is equal to 0 there will be a term called 0 and uh, uh, this term will become 0 so 0 plus when x is equal to 1 you will get it as 1 p um, then 1 into p into 1 minus p the whole raised to 1 minus 1. So again after calculating this you will get mu 2 dash is also equal to p. Now let's have a look at the third row moment. So how will you denote the third row moment? The third row moment is denoted by mu 3 dash which is equal to again expectation of x uh, cube which is equal to summation over x cube p in uh, p raised to x 1 minus p raised to 1 minus x and x takes the value 0 and 1 over here so again the first term over here will be 0 since x is equal to 0 and if we put 1 in this uh, term you get uh, 1 cube which is 1 itself into p into 1 minus p the whole raised to 1 minus 1 which is equal to nothing but p so mu 3 dash is also equal to p now from this you will get a general idea what mu 4 dash is that is the fourth row moment fourth row moment is also is equal to p so in this problem uh, the first four row moments uh, the answer is the same and that is equal to p now let's find out the first four central moments of this particular problem. Now, uh, as I said earlier, we have we have uh, 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 studied a result like the first central moment of uh, variable x will be always what zero mu one is equal to zero. Now mu two mu two is equal to we know the formula for mu two mu two is nothing but our variance. So it is a mu two dash minus mu one dash the whole square. Now uh, earlier. When you did the problem, you got what mu2 dash is, it's p, and what mu1 dash is, it's also p. So just substitute these uh, p values in this equation, and you will get one, uh, sorry, p into 1 minus p. That is, uh, sorry, you will get p into, p into 1 minus p. Now, again, coming to the third central moment, mu3 is equal to, you, you know the formula for mu3. Now, again, you can substitute what mu3 dash you have find out it is p. And you can substitute the values for mu3 dash, mu1 dash, mu2 dash in this equation. And you will get 2p cube minus 3p square plus p. 
again we are coming down to mu4 you know that uh, mu4 dash is again what p itself and you can substitute the values in this equation uh, for uh, mu1 dash mu3 dash and mu2 dash uh, you will get uh, of course for mu4 dash also everything is p the raw moments for this case is p so um, you will substitute you can substitute in this equation and you will get p into 1 minus 4p plus 6p square minus 3pq okay so this, these are the final answers